Arashalobom, Kahalalum like a hava pasum of sharp as some or cockatash. The water on to the others of pastors of written some little sentence sanitation to the sincere Akima that doing the book of your hava pasum of sharp as some cockatash and spirit and truth of sincerity. Diligently, I ever so seeking the face of your pasum of sharp continuously without ceasing. As the scripture speaks about when praying, pray without ceasing. I that's what that's how and and that's how we draw our strength from our power Yahweh Yahweh was the name of the name of the Father Yahweh the name of the Son who the world know is Jesus Christ his name is Yahweh we don't believe and you know no use these falsifiers our uh, falsified names our uh, X phone and uh, 12 there's only one name whereby we must be saved and you cannot use some translation, some translated uh, Greek names. Uh, use the pure Hebrew tongue. That's why a lot of you you so fucked up in the head. I uh, excuse the choice of my colorful words. I, uh, as you can see on the screen, he says, "Let him without sin cast uh, the first stone," because this is the kind of mentality a lot of you. Who are, still, who are still lost don't have the, the acknowledgement that the Heavenly Father who you know is God in the name is only of, the, of His only begotten uh, Son Yahweh Shah has established order because right. without the prophets the servants of prophets of Yahweh Shah how the fuck would you know whether what you're doing is right or wrong yeah who the hell will, will be there to tell you you know what this is wrong this is not the will of the father no 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 you're going off you're going astray you're wandering off from the path of righteousness how how would you know except there be other let's get the first the first scripture Uh, because uh, you're about to find out that there, there are stone casters that are justified by by Yahweh Shimiyosha, so so to speak. All uh, right, you're gonna realize that very soon. There are those who are justified by, by Yahweh Shimiyosha. All uh, right, when they speak, they speak according to the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimiyosha. Uh, they have the Harakakutash, the Holy Spirit, okay, on them. That's why the Lord said, Blessed is he who is not offended. Alright, let's get this. This is a this a St. John chapter 8 verse 7. Let's go to the point. I don't want to make this thing long. Yeah. So St. John chapter 8 verse 7 says, So when they uh, continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let them first cast uh, a stone at her. It says, And again he stopped uh, down and wrote on, on the ground. All right. And this is nothing with only God can uh, only God can judge me all right he that is without sin let him cast first the first stone all right let's get this in Corinthians and we're gonna read Corinthians first of all before I get to the next scriptures and explain what does it mean for you dumb dummies out there all right, this is our first Corinthians chapter one chapter 5 verse 17 it says therefore if any man be in, in Hamashiach Yahusha, he is a new creature all things are passed away behold all things are become new you become a new creature so if you still have the old man within you just like these wicked scribes and Pharisees who were murmuring scoffing talking nonsense talking BS against the Lord and Savior Yahusha when he walked the earth when they were murmuring saying 
What manner of man is he that forgiveth sin? Say like now, nah, we call the red-handed, they forgot one thing, mercy. Yeah, mercy. And these guys that were busy talking all kinds of BS, trying, wanting to see her, this woman uh, get, uh, being put to death. Yeah, but they themselves were committing even the same things were they committing even far more worse that's why he, that's why he says hey if any of you have no sin let them first be the one okay to throw okay to stone her because there was still being nothing but a bunch of hypocrites a bunch of hypocrites so you can't you let's get this let's get this let's get this out of scripture all right, let's just get this. this is a Romans chapter 2, verse 20. 20. So, Romans chapter 2, verse 21 says, Therefore, it says, Now, it says, Thou, therefore, which teachest another. Yeah, what, would, what were, the, were these guys doing, these wicked scribes and Pharisees in St. John 8 and verse 7? Were they not teaching others? Uh, were they not teaching others? Well, they were. It's a Saint John. It's a Romans chapter two, verse twenty-one. It says, "Thou therefore which teachest another, thou thou art not thyself." Yeah. Let's get this before I finish. Let's get this in Ecclesiasticus. Oh, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter thirty-seven. Of course, if they were still being hip, being a bunch of hypocrites. These wicked scribes and Pharisees. That's why Yahusha told them, "Look, man, you're you're also doing some shit, and I know what what you're doing. Instead of writing down, and he probably was writing more one kind of stuffs which they were doing, and which they did, okay, bef be before they were they were at that uh, that location where they were with this um, event and ended up happening. Ecclesiastes chapter thirty-seven. Verse 19 says, uh, says Ecclesiastes chapter 37, verse uh, 19 says, There is one that is wise and teacheth many, and yet is unprofitable to himself, because what they were doing, the law, the law, the law, was not profitable unto these wicked scribes and Pharisees. Hence, they, they were casting stones. If, if the word of Yahabash, Meoshaw, okay, was profitable unto them, they would have believed in Yahusha. They would have believed in Yahusha. And they would they would have known, look, it's not about the law, but it's about what? Rehearsing that those laws and believing. Start all, first of all, starting with believing in Yahusha, the son of the Mosa. So it was not profitable unto them. Ecclesiastical chapter 37, verse 90. Uh, verse 19 there is one that is wise and teaches many and yet is unprofitable to himself because the law was unprofitable to the wicked scribes and pharisees because they lacked faith they lacked yahusha yahusha was absent unto them that's why he told them ye are ye are of your father the devil yeah ye are of your, of your father the devil the same thing yeah, okay you guys who are out there were saying, you know, no, God, only God can judge me. You know what? You are of your father the devil, and you're following exactly after his lust. Just like when he's when the Mosa asked, hey, oh, hey, Cain, where's your brother? He says, hey, am I, am I my brother's keeper? See, the same thing you're doing right now. We being your we being your keepers right now. Okay, we are being our brother's keeper right now by rebuking your fucking asses. Tell you to get right. Galatians have have we not? Let's get this. Let's get this in Galatians. All right, this is the book of Galatians. All right, chapter chapter uh, chapter four verse sixteen. It says therefore, this is the Galatians chapter four verse uh, sixteen. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Uh, and Yahweh directly spoke the truth unto these wicked scribes and Pharisees, uh, forgetting their own sins, forgetting mercy. First of all, they, don't, they did not believe in Yahweh 
yeah, starting to cast out stones. Yahweh therefore became their enemy because they, they never knew Yahweh because they rejected Yahweh For the truth that Yahweh is back, he became an enemy. Furthermore, unto these wicked scribes and Pharisees, trying to, trying to cast out the first stone. And guess what? There are those who are just who, who are gonna be casting the stones. All right. You're being hewn right now, it says in Hosea, by the mouth of the servants, the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And unto you, unspiritual carnal pieces of nothing, it's it seems unto you that we, like uh, we 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 are casting our uh, first the stones. But guess what, man? Those who those who are in Yahusha have become new creatures. All right. Because the things we tell you to not to not to do, we're not doing those things. Go into the Mosa go and fucking kill all these fucking faggots, these LGBT communities, an abomination. We're not doing that. All right. Do you teach others? Do you teach? Do you tell to do not lie, do not steal? But you do the exactly the same shit? Nah. Yahweh Shai is not the, in you. All right. For an example, First Corinthians 3 and 16. All right. These bodies are, are the temples of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai. All right. We're not supposed to defile them. Okay, now if you're out there telling you, don't smoke cigarettes, stop smoking weed, but but then in turn we're doing the exact same thing. So when I see some, when I see somebody smoking, guess what? And I smoke myself. I uh, happen to, to 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 smoke secretly, or uh, in in uh, in uh, secretly. Okay. In the dark, I'm somewhere smoking, doing the same thing, the same thing, but on camera. Okay. Doing these video pistols, I'll, I'll be the one who's smoking like nobody's business, rolling up a blunt. Guess what? I'm, I'm casting out the first stone. I will be casting out the first stone with if, if I see somebody doing that. Okay, t trying to be righteous. Okay, pretending to be righteous but being a fucking hypocrite. A hypocrite. Okay, that's why the scripture says in Ecclesiastes, the second chapter, Be not thou a hypocrite before the sight of the Most High. Alright. That's what these wicked scribes and Pharisees were. Let's go back to let's go let's go back. Oh, this is uh, Romans chapter two and uh, twenty one again. Oh, this is uh, Romans chapter two verse twenty one says, "Thou, uh, therefore, uh, which teachest another, teachest thou not thyself?" All uh, right. Thou art uh, thou that uh, preaches, uh, um, uh, so like it says, thou that preachest, a man shall not steal. Thou thou steal. Thou says a man shall not commit adultery. Dost thou commit adultery? Thou that uh, abhorrest idols. Dost thou commit uh, uh, sacrilegious, sacrilege? Okay. Thou, verse 23, Romans chapter 2, verse 23, and, uh, and thou that makest uh, thy boast of the, of the law, through breaking the law, dishonest, uh, dishonorest uh, thou the most high. Right. So, so, so stop resist, resisting the spirit, the spirit and power of, of your Abba, Shemyosha. Right. Acts, the seventh chapter. Right. You, you do always resist, okay, this, uh, the Holy Spirit, the Harakakotash, unto this very day, and that is still evident that you're still resisting this, this spirit and power of your help, of your help, and that's gonna be, that's gonna, that's gonna be proven to be as it is right now. More evidently, it's gonna manifest itself to be detrimental to your, to your salvation, you Israelites out there. Only God can judge me. Yeah, right. We're going to see when the Most High judge you, man. It's going to be by, by pestilences. Okay, it's going to be by famine. It's going to be by teeth of, like, of, 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 of wild beast. That's when the Most High going to judge your fucking ass. Because the servants of the Lord right now. Let's get Amos 5. Alright, this is uh, Amos chapter 5. And uh, 10 says, They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and that abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Alright. 
because we, we've became Galatians 4 and our 6 C 16 we have become your enemies but for telling you the truth all right that's why it says that specifically in St. John the third chapter your deeds are evil you don't you don't want to come to the light and how shy is that light this truth cannot resonate with you open rebuke you dumb dummies out there open rebuke is better than secret love it's funny how these DTT these these uh, proverb Psalms loving okay Christians uh, how do you get past that scripture and Proverbs clearly tells you clearly tells you that open rebuke is better than, than secret love yeah you better a hey, scripture says that even in the New Testament okay it tells you that look okay rebuke them sharply sh sharply so that others may fear all right and mark them which cause division let's get this let's get all right so uh, Zephaniah chapter 3 these are the ones that that's going to be, be be looked at and seen in the eyes of the naked uh unspiritual demonic uh lost two third who are gonna look like as if as if uh the the righteous remnant will be casting the first stone this is who, who the scripture is speaking of there's a zephaniah chapter 3 verse 13 the remnant of israel shall shall not do iniquity why because they become new creatures in yahweh all right they're going to be seeking the face of Yahweh Hashem Yashah continuously offending less there's not a single righteous person no not one that that does sin if not damn fucking dummies now, Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 13 the remnant of Israel shall, shall not do iniquity nor speak lies neither shall, the, it, shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth for they shall for they shall feed and lie down and none shall make them afraid the remnant they shall do no iniquity nor speak lies it says neither shall what a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth because they become new creatures they're putting on as the elect okay the embodiment of Yahushai carrying that cross daily continuously shining brighter and brighter as, as that day uh, uh, comes and edges more closer and closer as it says in the book of proverbs the righteous uh, shining brighter and brighter putting off that old man being not a bunch of fucking hypocrites being doers of the word in faith in spirit and in truth All praises be unto Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushua, Hashem, Akakadash. Double down to the other apostles of Great Millstone, the others on down to the to the Sinsi Akim, doing the work of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushua, Hashem, Akakadash. Shalom.